What's going on? What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Let's Chevy Runner. I'm back with an update. Uh, it's a lot of y'all out here, just like me, in the beginning. You were searching for an intake to go on your uh, LS swap. You probably figured the Vortec truck intake wouldn't work. So you went online and you spent like two or three hundred dollars and got an aftermarket intake. Well, maybe you could have just saved that two or three hundred dollars and put it into your bill. Because, so I can see right here, I have the Vortec uh, intake. It's the truck intake that come with the 6 old motor or the 5.3s. And it goes, I mean, the hood shuts. You can check the clearance. You see what I'm saying? I got at least two to three inches before it hits the top of the uh, the back of the firewall where the hood comes over I mean where the firewall comes over and connects to the hood so you know with that being said man uh, you probably could save yourself some money by leaving your truck intake on now the key the key to keep to getting the truck intake on here is don't tighten up the transmission let the trans let the the transmission hang uh, get you a floor jack after you slide the intake on there get you a floor jack lift the transmission up once you lift the transmission up the intake will slide it. it'll have just enough room for my application anyway for the B bodies and I'm sure it could work in uh, F bodies or any other model of uh, old school Chevy, Chevy Caprice or Novas or Monte Carlos, whatever you got. Um, jack the transmission up. The intake a slide. It'll give it enough room so you can you can push it back and make it flush. And then, after you get it bolted down, you can put your transmission back in place. Um, what I have going on is... I got the cross member on here. As y'all can see, the transmission is buttoned up. The drive shaft is on. So, what I'm telling y'all is, you can use your uh, your truck intake. As y'all see, I got my headers on here. I got the shift linkage hooked up. So, we got all this done. I mean, I have out the market. I mean, y'all have seen the videos. I have the out the market intake. It's right here. I just don't got it on. One, I want to crank the car with the things that came on it. And then the other parts would be like tuning parts. You know, we take that. We'll see what kind of power curves we got with the upgrades. So, again, I took that, took that off. And we'll see what we got. But other than that, y'all, uh, got the gas line ran up here. Haven't hooked it up yet. Trust me. I'm waiting on it just like y'all, man. I already heard this thing crank up. But at the same time, I've been taking my time. I've been uh, debating on what parts to use, what parts to upgrade. And, you know, it gets down to this point right here that this truck intake will work. Uh, y'all don't believe me, watch this. As y'all can see, the hood is up. I'm gonna shut this hood down and you ain't gonna see, it ain't gonna, you ain't gonna see no, uh, no creases in the hood where it's pushed up or any of that. Let's shut the hood. Okay. You don't see no creases in the hood. Let me step back. You see the body lines, everything going together like it should. That's on both sides. Now, that just ain't that side. We got this side over here. Same way. Body lines, everything matching up. It's the front. As y'all know, I got my bumper off. Uh, but this is what the car looked like. Hood closed. Right? Finally, finna get this thing put together, get it down off these uh, wood cribs and 
get all this mess straightened up so we can back this car up out of here. But, uh, yeah, let's pop the hood, man. I mean, you know, I'm getting everything ready for the digital dash, y'all. So I got a lot of the dash stuff pulled off. All right, we got the hood popped. Now give me a second. Y'all can see, truck intake on here. So hopefully this can help somebody, man. Um, because ain't no need to go out there buying all these aftermarket parts if you don't need them. So hopefully this helps somebody. If y'all made this far in the video, y'all make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe. And uh, I'll catch y'all when we crank this thing up. Peace.